what are the constitutional protections that apply to almost every citizen, and what are some misconceptions about those rights. While not explicitly stated in the Constitution, the Supreme Court has recognized a right to freedom of association, which protects your right to join together with others for social, economic, and political purposes. While not explicitly mentioned in the Constitution, the Supreme Court has recognized a right to privacy in various contexts, such as reproductive rights and personal autonomy. Contrary to popular belief, even though privacy is important, it doesn't extend to public spaces. The First Amendment protects the right to freedom of speech, allowing individuals to express their opinions and ideas without government interference. However, there are limitations, such as prohibitions against speech that incites violence or constitutes defamation. The First Amendment also protects your right to practice your religion, or not, without government interference. There's confusion about whether Christianity is considered the national religion of the United States. On the contrary, the Establishment Clause states that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. This clause prohibits the federal government from adopting an official religion. The Second Amendment protects your right to own and possess firearms. This right isn't absolute, as there are laws limiting this right, like licensing, background checks, and types of guns. The Fifth Amendment provides that no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. Many mistakenly believe that owning property gives them the right to do anything they wish with it, but this isn't so. There are legitimate restrictions that government can and does place upon private ownership of land and property. The 14th Amendment guarantees equal protection under the law, meaning that laws must be applied equally to all citizens and can't discriminate against protected groups. Various amendments, including the 15th, 19th, and 26th, protect your right to vote without discrimination based on race, sex, or age for those 18 and older. The Constitution doesn't guarantee a fundamental right to vote in all circumstances. States have the authority to establish voting qualifications and procedures subject to certain limitations. Keep in mind, despite many people's beliefs, there's no constitutional right to publicly funded health care or education. While employees have certain rights in the workplace, such as protection against discrimination, harassment, and unsafe working conditions, these rights aren't absolute. Private businesses aren't bound by the U.S. constitutional restrictions. Constitutional rights only restrict the government. Even fundamental enumerated rights aren't absolute and can be limited by the government for certain reasons. Please see our other video about the balancing test for laws that restrict constitutional rights the link of which can be found in the description portion of this video. As we can see, constitutional rights are nuanced. Even though it protects some rights as citizens, a powerful, ever-expanding government will always push to increase its power over its citizens. It's the duty of every citizen to know and understand their rights. And you can't know how to enforce your rights if you don't fully understand them.